Good one. <laughs> you just left. Pew, pew, pew. No, you're supposed to. I wake up early. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, there it is. We love you, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like, like a tube over here. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are joined with a special guest, Brandon, my husband. Today we're going to be doing a little Q&A. So I asked you guys some questions over on Instagram, or I asked you guys to ask us some questions over on Instagram. If you wanna be part of our next Q&A, then definitely go ahead and give me a follow. I'll leave it right here for you guys. But we're gonna get into it. We're going to go through some of the questions that you asked and see what the answers are. Yeah. Also, before we get started, I did wanna mention that today's video is going to be sponsored by Skillshare. So stay tuned so we can chat a little bit more about Skillshare later on in the video. Okay, question number one. What do you think is the hardest part of parenting so far? Um... So like something that you from the past, like when we first had her, or something that you find hard now, like whatever. Okay, maybe two. When she was first born, she was pretty little. Yeah, she was tiny. Didn't know how to pick her up. <laughs> now it's probably when she cries and you feed her and then she's still upset. When you just can't figure it out. And you can't figure out what she wants and you're just like, just, just tell us. Yeah. Can't talk, So obviously. the lack of communication. Yeah on her part. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing great. Um, I think that the hardest part about parenting for me was probably breastfeeding at the beginning. Now, I don't know, she doesn't cry that much, but yeah, it does, She's good. it's hard when she She's does watching cry. Us. You're, you're a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Mimi. <laughs> probably just like not having a lot of time to yourself. Mm -hmm. like you're always with someone, like I like being with her, but okay. This one, I guess, is more geared towards me, but advice for an unmedicated birth? Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> I would say just try to stay home as much as possible um, so that when you get to the hospital, you don't really have a choice. Um, but Brandon didn't really enjoy the car ride. So depending on how close you live to the hospital, I didn't think that an unmedicated birth was like as hard as I thought it would be. Um, but I also didn't know what to expect. So I didn't know how far we were like along with contractions or anything like that. So kind of just, just happened. And just like think to yourself, your body was made to do this and you're good to go. Probably not the best advice, <laughs> but I don't know. That's what I did. What are your thoughts on extended breastfeeding? So like, What's that? like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like, like a tube over here. Like, Breastfeeding for longer, like as long as the baby wants, or non-baby, toddler, child, human, uh, Don't you adult. feed her until she, she comes off anyways? Well, like some people stop. Oh, uh, like you got three minutes. No, like, uh -oh. uh, like extended, like she could be like four in breastfeeding. Oh, dang, yeah, <laughs> I, I was just walking up, just coming down the slide. What do you think about She like walks up and she's like, oh, Hang out with her friends. Yeah. So when you think she should stop breastfeeding? Like, what if I just keep producing milk until? Save it up, sell it on the black market. We're gonna be rich. I'm not gonna keep breastfeeding, pumping if she's not uh, drinking it. Yeah. Uh, one. What's the normal? I don't know. One. I think once I she starts like walking just... to it, then it's kind of like. <laughs> I think that I'll off. probably breastfeed until she wants to be done with it. Really? So she's 15, walking up. No, my boobs just are about to get her G1. <laughs> <laughs> At some point my boobs are gonna stop huh. producing milk and if they don't then probably like the longest I would go is like two But like for people who do longer all the power to you two? I just feel like it'd be so uncomfortable to like breastfeed a child like a yeah, legit a child three foot child <laughs> Like picture Lily just walking up uh. and having a drink, but you don't always have the back snacks <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay what is your favorite thing about Mia, like currently at this stage? Um, she's eight months, by the way. Walking in the room and she sees you and gets excited. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Was that yours? Did I steal it? I mean, I don't know. I think just like, yeah, just how like ha everything makes her happy and like everything's fun. Literally, she just loves 
doing any and everything and like you can bring her with you she doesn't cry a lot so we literally will go for walks or we'll go for drives or we'll just like chill and play so i feel like she's a pretty easygoing baby but definitely like her getting all like smiley probably her laugh though when she giggles that's my favorite part like mm. it's so cute okay what is something you didn't expect that you would be doing as a parent like, is there something that you were like, whoa, I didn't expect that or like, mm. or didn't think that you'd be that parent? Why? Diapers? Yeah, I didn't expect you to change as many diapers as you do. Like, to be as hands-on with the diaper changing situation. Thanks. Actually, Ew. the amount of, <laughs> <laughs> the amount of money I spend on her. Mm. You do spend a lot of money. For like, nothing. Not nothing, but... And nothing she needs. Like she needs clothes, but she doesn't need as much clothes as she has. And like, she needs toys. She doesn't really have a crazy amount of toys, I guess. No, not yet. But she has like so much stuff. She just has a lot of stuff. Oh, we're the parents that have stuff all over our house. And yeah. I was like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm literally looking at a play gym right now. Uh, she won. Definitely. When do you think we'll have baby number you two? You go first, you go first. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't really like, decided no we're enjoying mia right now she's still only eight months old i feel like that's too early to like throw another child in there i mean i have to wait nine months but still we're still like enjoying her first and just like all the things that she does i definitely don't think right now two years two yeah. i don't think so what <laughs> probably like one and a half <laughs> two years or maybe just, two maybe or get pregnant at one and a half or stick with me, yeah. But one and a half is going to come up quick. Yeah. Oh, we got to figure that out. <laughs> I really, I honestly don't know. Yeah. Or we stick with one. No, no, no. We're going to have, hopefully, more than one. Okay, somebody asked, do we take turns with her in general? Do we take turns? A little bit, I think. Yeah. I'll yeah. take her. You... You'll take her. You'll change her diaper. I'll change her diaper. You obviously can't feed her. No. I guess that kind of goes with the other question. Do you feed her? No, Brandon doesn't, she doesn't take a bottle anymore um, or we don't give her a bottle anymore. Um, so he doesn't feed her, but. No, we feed her food. Sometimes we feed her. That. Yeah, you'll feed her like breakfast, lunch, dinner. Like if we're having a meal, he'll help feed her with that. But like he doesn't give her a bottle or milk. Or the boob. Or his boob because it doesn't work. The next question is, how do you find time to do things that you enjoy? I wake up early. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I wake up early, because Mia sleeps in until eight to 10 every day. So I'm able to get up, do whatever I need to do on my phone, answer emails, texts, do posting. He does that during the day too. I do that during the day <laughs> too, throughout the whole day and night, but at least I start it in the morning. Yeah, um, I would say the way that I find time to do things that I love um, is probably like when I'm getting ready or when Mia's napping. I try to obviously make videos for you guys and I also go online and take some classes on Skillshare to learn different skills. Um, and like I had mentioned before, today's video is actually sponsored by Skillshare. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Some classes that I've been enjoying is a class on how to shoot DSLR. I'm trying to learn how to take pictures on my camera that I am shooting on right now. Um, so I can get some better content for you guys. Some other classes that are really interesting is there's an interior design one that I really want to take. I think I might take that one next. Um, there's courses about finding your creativity and kind of like honing in on that. And I think that's really cool. Being online, it's definitely hard to stay creative all the time. So I think those classes would be really good to take to kind of help us both stay creative because we both do online content in different forms. So something I love about Skillshare is that it is specifically curated for learning. So there are no ads while you're learning, which is amazing. Skillshare is always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused on your creativity. Okay, back to the questions. Um, so if you guys wanna check out Skillshare, I will leave the link in the description down below. Um, we love Skillshare, we use it all the time. We are learning so many new skills, especially since we are both 
at home with Mia and always creating stuff. So perfect time to learn different skills. Okay, I think we already answered this one, but does Brandon change diapers? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like something you really dislike about parenting is changing diapers or it's kind of whatever now it's kind of whatever now yeah but girl that stinks yeah now that she's eating her diapers uh, sorry mia playing this at your wedding <laughs> <laughs> how many babies do we want one no yeah i think two or four bang we went from one two to four no it's either two or four i want mia to have siblings so if we're able to give her siblings then I would love to do that. I think that she has cousins that are the same age as her, so if she didn't have a sister, it would be okay, but I definitely want a boy in the family to carry on the name. So we could either have two, or we could, if we have two and we have an accidental third, then we're gonna try for four, probably. <laughs> we'll have an accidental <laughs> <laughs> We'll see how I feel about this after the second birth. Cause you know, you never know how things are gonna go. What is our favorite family activity? Uh, Mia can't do much right now, but I guess maybe going to the park. Yeah. She likes to swing. Yeah. Um. She doesn't care about the slide. I feel, no, she doesn't, like, she doesn't care about the slide at all. I feel like we go for walks a lot as a family. Yeah. Or car rides, but that's usually just like, because she won't sleep. <laughs> I, we walk for fun though. Probably soon it'll be the beach. Yeah. We'll be at the beach all the time, so. And like swimming and stuff like that now yeah. will be in the water more because it's summertime. But yeah, we kind of just walk and she likes to play. We do play time on the floor or whatever. Yeah. Do we not do anything with her? <laughs> well, we can't really do too, too much. Yeah. She can't move. She can't talk. Yeah. I, I feel like our family activity right now at the stage she's at is probably going for family walks. Yeah. Okay. A few more questions and then we are going to wrap it up. Uh, we'll do two more. So, do you think the other one is a natural at parenting? No, me. Do you, do you think I'm a natural at parenting? Oh, yeah. Obviously. You think like right off the bat, I was just oh, like... Yeah. You knew exactly what to do. <laughs> I was completely lost. Still am. I feel like you're pretty good. I was I'm not nervous because like I knew that he would step into the role, but I was surprised at how quickly you like adapted. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Sometimes I have to tell him to do things, but... <laughs> Okay. Oop, there it is. No, I feel like I, I showed you like once how to do something and then like you got the hang of it. Yeah. But he still gets nervous in front of other people and won't do certain things in front of other people. But yeah, like people are judgmental. No, they're not. Um, at the beginning, he was hesitant to hold her in front of people. But again, now he's good. I mean, she's a little less breakable than when she weighed six pounds. But yeah. yeah. Okay, last question. What is something that we miss about non-parenthood oh, still pretty much do everything that we do yeah now. I feel like maybe just being able to like pick up and go but I mean we have so many people who would take Mia in like a heartbeat but I don't really like to leave her <laughs> for too long <laughs> I like her to be with us yeah. um, and like obviously right now we can't do much so I haven't really noticed the effects of like parenting being a parent versus not being a parent. We mentally prepared ourselves for like what it would be like and we also didn't live crazy lives where we were doing insane things all of the time um, or like things that you couldn't do with a child. We spend a lot of time with our family. We like to go on vacation, which we're definitely gonna be doing with Mia. Um, September. But yeah, overall, I don't think we really miss much about not being a parent. I think I enjoy mm -hmm. being a parent way more uh, than yeah. like me too non-parenting life yeah boring like too. she makes every day happy and fun but okay that's everything yes that's that's really. okay so that's all the questions we're going to answer for today so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up Definitely check the link out down below in the description because like I had mentioned before, the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So check it out and learn some new things. Um, and if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section down below or head over to my Instagram, follow along, and next time we do a Q&A, your question might be featured in our video. But that is everything, so I hope you have an amazing day, week, month, or year. I love you, and remember to always be nice to people. Bye. Bye.
Pew, pew, pew. No, you're supposed to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs>